our day The way of the crypt of warriors Can't rely on the bank, there's no way Good morning, good morning, VicSquareRoadDrew.com Good morning, Horn of Z's, your sip of Chaga coffee uh, little, little freak out yesterday, not a freak out. Um, I posted the, my first video back from the YouTube ban, uh, yesterday and it was immediately demonetized. I'm like, what the hell? And I sent in a complaint, um, and they changed it back. Who knows? It was done. They changed it back manually. I don't know what's going on, uh, with YouTube, but I'm going to stay on it as long as, uh, possible. I also post on Theta TV and BitChute. Uh, most of the private road stuff goes on those. And we continue the battle. Um, I want to talk about silver today. What a huge discount you're getting today. Oh, by the way, if you want to buy silver, go to roadrew.com. Hit affiliates up at the top there. All our uh, partnerships and discounts and all that. Go down to, we got some cool ones, C60. Obviously, everybody should be taking their C60. Uh, we have an Amazon storefront, very cool. Berkey filters, if you guys have watched the page discussion on fluoride in your water, you will never, ever, ever, ever drink tap water again. Ever, ever, ever. Check out the Berkey filters. Takes fluoride out of the water, which is huge. But here's Miles Franklin. Click on Miles Franklin. Um, here's our guy, Andy Sheckman. I've known Andy for, I don't even know how long, 15, 15 years or so. One of the most upstanding citizens out there as far as silver dealers. When silver goes crazy, we've seen so many silver dealers go out of business and people with their orders just lingering. Andy's been around with Miles Franklin for so long, has weathered all the crashes and the implosion of silver delivery companies. He's a straight shooter. I absolutely trust him. Send him an email, Andy, A-N-D-Y, at Miles Franklin. Tell him I sent you, and he'll get you the best deal around in physical silver. Now is the time. Again, they might put the price to minus $40 like they did for oil. Uh, silver will not be freely traded until the comics shuts down. The comics is futures and options. It's a derivative market, and I believe that moment is coming. Of course, they are sitting on the price. They are sitting on the price, as usual, as they've been for the last 150 years. Talk about a coiled spring, 150 years of price suppression. Silver will go one-to-one -one with gold. <clears throat> this is my prediction. It should go over. Once the world finds out just how much gold there is in the world, that it's not the 250,000 tons that Jeffrey Christian will tell you. I think that's the number at the, at the moment. It's more like 2 million, 2 million tons. Or maybe even 4 million tons of, of gold. I'm talking gold. It's not the 250,000 tons of gold that Jeffrey Christian will tell you has been mined since the beginning of time. It's a complete and total and utter lie. It's more like 2, maybe even 4 million tons has been found and mined. Not all of it was, was mined. There are massive hidden buried treasures of gold all around the world, especially, um, well, we, we all know about Yamashita's gold or Yamashita's gold in, uh, in the Philippines. That was 300,000 tons. Hell of a lot more than what they're telling you in the mainstream. Once we understand that the mainstream lies about everything, we have a better understanding. And the amount of gold found in the Grand Canyon is unknown. There is gold everywhere in the Grand Canyon. Uh, and you're not allowed to go there. You're not allowed to see it. You're not allowed to touch it. You're not allowed to take a pebble out of the Grand Canyon. Unless you're the deep state secret government's people who have been in there for since the early 1900s, exploring all the secret caves within the Grand Canyon, exploring all the pyramids within the Grand Canyon. If you don't believe me, go, go look at any map of the Grand Canyon and look at the names of the, quote, mountains. And you'll get an idea. Anyway, the gold-silver ratio will go at least one-to-one. -one, and I don't think gold's going to stay at you know $2,000. I think it'll go probably to $20,000 an ounce at the first close down of the comics. But then again, now gold has another exchange. 
in Asia, gold has a physical exchange. Um, in as far as silver, there is no physical exchange. Um, no place to find the, the true value of silver. So you're getting it at a discount because of the futures and options rigging by the banking cabal. Who are the big guys right now? Well, the, the CFTC is pretty much shut down. So it's uh, Bank of America, Citibank, Morgan Stanley. Behind the scenes, J.P. Morgan orchestrates the whole thing along with uh, a company called Virtu Financial. Vincent Viola, Virtu Financial, used to be called EWT LLC, uh, computer rigging company, just like Bernie Madoff. Vinny Viola and Bernie Madoff split off together at the same time. Uh, Madoff was the head of the NYMEX, I think, and uh, Vinny Viola was the head of the NASDAQ, or vice versa. Um, they split off, both started computer rigging companies for the deep state. Uh, Vinny Viola is still out there. As a matter of fact, Donald Trump nominated him to be the head of the army, I think it was. Something crazy, considering he got kicked out of West Point. <laughs> it is insane the world we live in. All of the facades will start tumbling soon. But as of today, silver's still under $23 an ounce. Send Andy Sheckman an email, andy at milesfranklin.com. Get as much physical silver in your own possession as you can. Um, let me give you a little idea of what's going on with physical silver. We had the lowest volume day I've seen, I don't know, in how long? In 20 years that I've been in silver, the lowest volume day ever? It was like 150 million ounces, which you should be shocked at so much silver traded hands in one day. But for the comics, that's the lowest ever, or in a hell of a long time. I don't even remember when it was this low. Under it was 150 million ounces. Normally, you're looking at half a half a billion ounces. Sometimes one one day, it was like three billion ounces of electronic silver traded. It was insane. But as you can see, the trend is down. This is just a tiny, tiny amount of silver for these criminals. Why? Because they're running for the hills. Now, if you listen to the Jenny Moonstone readings that we've done, she said they're going to try to implement a new regime of silver rigging. No longer is it going to be the commercials doing all the dirty work. The commercials are almost done. They're almost completely out of their silver short, but they just can't close it out. So they have to do a little more rigging and a little more rigging and a little more rigging. My take, you're going to see hedge funds, BlackRock, take over the silver short which is harder to see on the COMEX data. As far as the COMEX long, you want to know who it was back in the, the silver squeeze? There was no silver squeeze. Oh, there was, but it was just one entity, a company called P Private Advisor Group. This is how many shares they bought in the first quarter. The first quarter, each share constitutes one ounce of silver on SLV. In the first quarter, at the end of the quarter, that means the last day of the quarter, so we don't know how many shares they held during the quarter, 191 million ounces or one-third of all SLV was bought that month, that month by a, a, an entity called Private Advisor Group. So you want to know who was, it wasn't a bunch of Reddit people doing the silver squeeze, it was Private Advisor Group. Who are they? We don't know. <clears throat> Private Advisor Group, they're a big... First of all, private advisor groups are have a different classification. Private fund advisors for the SEC, private funds are pooled investment vehicles that are excluded from the definition of an investment company. It could be hedge funds. It could be nobody knows what. But clearly, since they had no, as very little SLV all the way up for the past five years, and then the first quarter went absolutely nutso buying a third of SLV, that's when the silver price jumped to 30 and then the, the uh, SLV inventory jumped over 700 million ounces and then fell back. Why? Because these guys took delivery of physical from SLV. So there you go. Um, private advisor group, if you want to know who it is. Now, they have to report. I don't know where their position stands now. Here they were holding uh, 132 million ounces 
um, of the 600 million. Still massive. And you know, the other thing about this is look at the, uh, where is it? Look at the portfolio weighting in one quarter. The, the portfolio is massive. In one quarter, the first quarter, they threw 20% of everything they had into SLV. That's how they, I mean, how do they get away with it without reporting it is this. Is a private advisor fund overview. They're excluded from the definition of a traditional investment company. I don't know who it is. I'll, I would guess it's the good guys. But just keep that in mind. Private investor, private advisor group, it's called. All right. Moving on to cryptos. Wonderful. The cryptos are moving. That's great. It's rigged, mind you. It's rigged, so hang on tight. Um, Bitcoin back over 54. It's going to make a run for 64. Remember, with the click on my mouse, they, could, they can put Bitcoin at minus $40 just like they did with oil. All these exchanges are fraud. Just beware of that. The only people who will win are people who have cryptos in their own possession and can hodl out through a through an ending of crypto exchanges. Yes, the regulators can do that because crypto exchanges are completely centralized. Completely centralized. But they don't want that. They want to integrate cryptos into their world so they can control it. Good luck with that. But you should definitely have cryptos. Don't look at the daily trades. Don't look at the daily values. Don't look at the monthly values. Cryptos are what you want to have after the crash. And I think they'll all go to zero when the exchanges shut down. When the banks shut down, all the exchanges shut down. It's going to be chaotic. So you do, all that means is you won't know what your cryptos are worth if you have them in your own possession. If you have them in the exchanges, they're gone. They'll, you'll never get them back. But if you have them in your own possession, you won't know what they're worth until everything gets sorted out. Could take months, could take years. I don't know. So that's where we are. I don't get excited when prices go up. I get more excited when prices go down. It means the real lows means there's not much pain left. Prices go up, they can slam it at any time. Just keep that in mind. And Theta always runs separately from other cryptos. It's rigged differently because it's different. Theta is the future of the internet. No cryptos can even be around without high-speed internet working. And Theta solves that gigantic problem of broadband problems. There's not enough broadband to move into a high-tech world. Theta solved it with a software solution, believe it or not. Imagine one day the whole system goes down, everything's clogged up, DDS attacks everywhere. Everything freezes up, and we've seen that lately, right? But everything on the internet freezes. And all of a sudden, Theta announces, we have decided to offer the edge node download to solve the problem. We're working with Sony and Samsung. They are going to automatically download <laughs> the Theta edge node on every computer and every smart TV in the world overnight tonight. Everybody's going to be sharing broadband and earning data fuel. Voila, problem fixed. What? And oh, by the way, we'll also use it to distribute a universal basic income to planet Earth. What? <laughs> All that can be done with data. It's a software. It's a software download. And there's more. I mean, obviously, it's going to be the biggest NFT platform because they are doing it the right way, within the regulator's bounds. All the NFTs going around right now, why do you think DraftKings can't give anybody their NFTs that they bought? They have to hold on to it because they haven't done the KYC. They're working with shady platforms. They're not shady platforms. They're just not doing it right. You have to do it right. You have to get KYC if you're going to 
distribute NFTs. I don't make the rules, but the rules are antiquated and have to be followed. They're so antiquated. Let me show you this. So we all know regulators are going after exchanges. Kraken settled a week ago to pay $1.25 million to settle SEC charges. Uh, cryptocurrency Kraken agreed to pay $1.25 million to settle CFTC charges that it let customers illegally trade margin products linked to Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. All the exchanges do that. Why does the CFTC call that illegal if they refuse to write rules around cryptocurrencies? It's been 10 years. The regulators still refuse to implement rules and regulations and laws around cryptocurrencies. It is so egregious. Check out this. So this article after crack and got ding, this article came out uh, yesterday. CFTC charges crypto platforms for registration violating Trading violations. For what? There are no rules. There are no rules. As a matter of fact, CFTC commissioner, one of the three that are left, and so next as of next week will be two, listen to what Ms. Dawn Stump says. In a concurring statement, CFTC commissioner Dawn Stump noted that the CFTC's findings against the company were influenced by the CFTC's final interpretive guidance. Does that sound like a law or a regulation? On retail commodity transactions involving certain digital assets. She emphasized that as the final interpretive guidance becomes more important to the CFTC's enforcement activities, the CFTC should seek to replace the final interpretive guidance with, quote, this is a quote, with rules that are based on current input from market participants and members of the public. Very good, Dawn. Further, Commissioner Sump observed that the application of the CFTC's FCM regulations to an exchange like a company is, quote, unchartered territory at this time. And if the CFTC intends to hold an exchange liable for operating as an unregistered FCM with respect to retail commodity transactions, it is incumbent upon the CFTC to explain in a transparent manner that the relevant legal requirements for such an entity that seeks to register as an FCM and how the CFTC will apply them, enabling the entity to conduct business with U.S. customers. Basically, she's saying, um, we're going to bust somebody. We don't have any rules to bust them. We have this guidance thing. And if we're going to continue to do this, we better make some rules or make some laws or make some guidelines. <laughs> it is pathetic. Ten years later, the SEC and the CFTC still haven't done a thing other than throw monkey wrenches into the crypto world. As I've said from day one, Regulators are not the solution, they are the problem. Talk to the silver investors of the last 150 years. Ask them how regulators have done for that commodity. And as of next week, there's only two, only two people on the CFTC board. Pathetic. Anyway, yeah, a lot of people talking about this Pandora paper. <laughs> Isn't it funny how no... United States Congress people are on that list. No United States rich people. No media people are on that list. It's a con. The whole thing's a con. Don't get excited about it. It was released by the bad guys, 99%. No, everybody in the United States is cool. They're not part of this craziness. Yeah, right. So Pandora papers are ridiculous. Pick and choose. It's a distraction. Doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean anything. Anyway, uh, Road to Ruta, we are giving away the silver Road to Ruta coin to every subscriber on the private road and renewal until Sunday, and then it's over. Um, we are, won't, won't be giving out the silver coins anymore. They're way too valuable. In the Road to Ruta world, this single coin pays for a subscription over and over and over again. 
And after Monday night, after Sunday night, Sunday night, we are going to start giving away Theta Fuel, T-Fuel, uh, loaded onto a paper wallet and mailed to your front door. So you don't even have to, you don't even need to know how to use crypto wallets. It gets mailed to your front door. That is starting Monday. But until now, until Sunday, we're giving away the last of the silver Ruta coins. Go to RoadToRuta.com, hit subscribe today, and you'll hit this page. All right? So all I got for you. This is Big Square, RoadToRuta.com. Hang I'll on tight, my friends. Theta Girl's on her way. Everything on her letter taking so high Well, she said her name was Theta Wanna go for a ride Fall band expansion always there by my side She's my Theta girl She really rocks my world Go Theta, go Theta, go Theta, go I said go Theta, go Theta, go Theta, go Well, the 40X movie 2020 was fun You ain't seen how high my little Theta can run Horn base of life, 300 million or more would love her while they watch her press or she's my theta girl she really rocks my world go theta go theta go theta go i said go theta go theta go theta go go theta go theta go theta go go theta go theta go theta go yo my theta girl she really rocks my world go theta go theta go theta go well my wife got really jealous i love it too much she said Either me or your coin I'm sad to see her go But look where Theta is gone She's my Theta girl She really watched my world Go Theta, go Theta, go Theta, go I said go Theta, go Theta, go Theta, go Galore. Samsung and Sony, Apple, Netflix and more A Google and then YouTube, well you watch it press or It's my theta girl, she really rocks my world Go theta, go theta, go theta, go 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 You're my theta girl